so guys i just signed up for my first marathon i'm 51 years old and my furthest distance so far has been 25 kilometers and it was hell besides that was ages ago as i was signing up today my mind was like can you do this the marathon is just five weeks away will you be ready can you go 42 kilometers but then i know that one way to get something done is to make the commitment. If you make the commitment financially, morally, then you will do what you have to do to be ready. So I went ahead and signed up. So this is my marathon journey, episode one, the beginning. I've done so many half marathons, actually. I know that there are also a lot of things which I need to learn to improve and change in my running to be able to complete this. But I'm determined to do this right now. If I don't do this now, next year will be 52. The best time for me to have done this was years ago. Now, this is the next best time to do it. So, I'm ready to do it now. I know there are a lot that I need to do. There's a lot I need to learn and unlearn. I need to analyze my running form. I'm not ready to change so much in a short time because I may have problems doing that. So any little things that I may need to change to improve my running economy, those are the things that I will be focusing on. I need to improve my cardiovascular fitness. I need to work on my lactate threshold. I need to improve my endurance. You know, five weeks may seem short, but I know that there's a lot that can be achieved within that time. And I'm ready to do that. My half marathon pace is usually two hours and 10 minutes and less. And I know that the second half of the marathon is will be the tougher. So I have two targets. First is to finish the marathon. And the second is to finish it in less than 4 hours and 20 minutes, if possible. Or tops 4 hours and 30 minutes. So I know that I have to learn about fueling. Because since now, what I do is I get up in the morning, lace up my shoes and go. The best I do is drink water. But I know that it will be impossible for me to complete the marathon without learning how to appropriately fuel and rehydrate. So that's what I'll be practicing on for the most part between now and then. I have to learn about fueling, the kind of things that I can use to fuel efficiently, things that will be easy for me to carry, getting to know the things that work with me, how to rehydrate properly, you know, how to get in the electrolytes. Of course, build more endurance, you know, get the muscles ready to hit 42 kilometers without getting fagged out. And to also make matters worse, I have a niggly plantar fasciitis that I've been struggling with now for about uh, three weeks. These are all the things that I need to tackle right now, head on. But I've done a lot of research on it, on how to get it contained and be able to do the run. But one thing is sure, we are gunning for the 42 kilometer marathon and we will get it done. I'll keep you guys posted as it goes. The marathon which I signed up for will be taking place in early February. God willing, we will be ready and we will complete. As I progress with my training and the things that I change, you know, I'll let you guys know about it. We're going to throw it down and we are going to get this done. So guys, we'll keep you posted as it progresses. Of course, still your man, the running dog, Dr. CY. Uh, subscribe to the channel, you know, we follow us on our journey. Of course, we continue with our shoe reviews and we also talk about running and all the experiences that I gain with this uh, marathon. Of course, I'm also going to share with you guys. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.